everybody. Welcome to See What Rita's Cooking. Uh, if you're new here, thank you for clicking on this video. I think you're going to be glad that you clicked on this one because this is going to be a good one. If you are one of my longtime subscribers, you've been rolling with me since day one. Hey, it's your girl, it's your homie, it's your sis, it's your cousin, it's the home chef, home cook, the food, the cutie. The live to eat queen is me. It's Rita. It's your girl. And today I am bringing you a video on something so good. This is going to be on my buttermilk fried chicken. <laughs> buttermilk fried chicken. Okay. Ain't nothing better than a homemade piece of a fried chicken from home except probably like a homemade cheeseburger with bacon Ooh, I like to cook at home so today that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing I said hey I said what's up I got a lot of chicken to fry so let's get right into it I'm gonna put on my wood little black apron I'm gonna put the lens on the food and we're going to get it cracked a lot. Okay? This is my, the first Sunday of uh, this uh, stupid stuff down here. Still, we still in Texas, still doing uh, daylight saving time. I think that's the stupidest thing ever. I don't know. I don't know why we still doing it. People don't stop doing it. We still doing this mess. So silly. So let me tell you guys, when I tell you that this might take you a little bit of work, I don't want you to get scared. Come back. Come back. It might take you a little bit of work, but like I said, I ain't going to have you doing nothing unless the payoff is going to be worth it. So I'm going to wash my hands, and we're going to get right into this buttermilk fried chicken. The secret to some good chicken is to marinate it, let it sit in some milk, let it sit in some, some milk and egg mixture overnight if you can. If you can't let it sit overnight, a minimum of four hours is always great. Now, I'm going to tell you some of the stuff that I put in this uh, marinade. I mean, in this, I'm calling it a marinade. I have a buttermilk mix mixture that I... Um, marinade overnight. I let my chicken sit in overnight. And then I have a dredge that has so several uh, ingredients in it too that I like to use. And uh, so I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to put y'all on the food and we're going to get started. Okay. But fried chicken of any kind, because when you're dealing with that uh, flour and all of that stuff, that's a hassle. But let me tell you, honey, buttermilk fried chicken is worth it. I don't care. It's worth it. Worth it to me. I'm going to get you a little bit closer. Okay. It's a dreary day down here in Dallas, Texas. Let me turn on a little light. Now, over here on this buttermilk side, what I have done for this chicken, this chicken, I've got about, uh, about 24 pieces of chicken, you guys. Uh, I've got legs, thighs, and drumsticks, and I think I got about seven to eight pieces of each one. But what I did for this brine, it's my brine uh, buttermilk chicken, um, I did about, and I'm just going to tell you what I put in here. You've got buttermilk, hot sauce, minced garlic, a little thyme, some onion powder, some paprika, some salt, and some pepper. That's what I put, uh, that's what this brine is, okay? And I put this in the refrigerator, and I covered it, and it stayed in the refrigerator overnight. And then when I came home from church, I took it out, and I, it's been sitting out so it could get to room temperature. Because one thing about fried chicken, if you fry it cold and you go into your hot oil, you're going to make your uh, oil uh, 
cool down pretty fast. And we don't want that. We want it to stay hot uh, so that our chicken can be crispy and it don't take a lot of grease to get us there. Okay, so over here we've got the dredge. That's what I'm going to be dredging it in, you guys. I'm not going to be double coating it or doing anything like that. Uh, this buttermilk is going to take care of all of that good crust and stuff like that. So in the dredge, what I have is I've got all-purpose flour, I've got cornstarch, bacon powder, garlic powder, I've got uh, chicken seasoning, and I've got, uh, what else did I put in here? I have some oregano, a little, ch a little chili powder, some paprika, and I have my all-season, I don't know if I showed y'all that. Let me show y'all. This is another little fave that I'm, I'm falling for. It's called Total Seasoning. And I'm kind of liking this Total, let me see if I can get a clear view. I'm kind of liking this Total Seasoning. It's uh, really good. And it's got a salty taste to it. So it can really, let me see if I can make, let y'all see what this is. It can really, you know, you have to be careful because it's got, a lot of stuff in it already but I sprinkle some of this in that uh, dredge as well okay so I will make sure that I put everything down in the description that I use for the dredge and for the uh, coating and I'm gonna be putting instructions for you guys to do about 10 pieces of chicken because y'all know I always overcook so let's go over here to the stove and let's look at our I'm gonna be using double boilers today because I want to get through. Now I could have used Jethro, my big Jethro pan, but I wasn't sure uh, if I wanted to kind of just get that, uh, what do you call it? Uh, deep fried uh, crust or if I wanted to fry it side by side, um, you know, fry it on one side and turn it over. But what I do know about buttermilk fried chicken is that it takes a little bit um, to get done and you have to make sure it's done because that, coat, that coating is kind of thick. So it takes about 15 to 20 minutes for a piece to get done. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just checking my grease on both, making sure they're ready to go. Okay. And they are. Let me show you how I get to the... Uh, process. We're gonna dredge some pieces together. Okay. Alright. So we've got our dredge and we've got our uh, buttermilk. You kind of just like uh, shake it off a little bit. And normally I would cut this little tail off of my wing. I don't like to deal with it. You don't usually end up eating it. So, but I didn't do that this time with these. I end up doing this uh, marinade, putting these in there pretty late last night. So I just wanted to get them in because it does make a difference uh, on how long you marinate it. This kind of tenderizes your chicken. I love a tender piece of chicken, like you know, juicy and tender is what I like. So I'm gonna get a couple of pieces of each kind right now. Two or three pieces of each kind. And I'm gonna be dredging them in this flour, this seasoned flour that I have. And uh, we're gonna get started. And of course I'm not gonna show y'all how to do all of this chicken, because we will be here on this video all day. I'm just gonna show you guys how I do it. I'm gonna let y'all see me get started. And then I'm gonna bring y'all back when I uh, am done. So what you wanna do is you wanna get this dredge all over this chicken. And really, I'm gonna end up having to use my hand. It's not gonna be cute. I can't, you know, I'm not gonna be able to be cute. I got to do what I got to do to get to work. I got to get, okay? Ain't nobody got time to be pretty. I got my black ape now, so, you know, what's, what's the point? Now, you know you're gonna get dirty. I ain't trying to be cute. I'm trying to eat, baby. What I say? <laughs> I live to eat. Some people eat to live. You know, some of these people you know, ain't got stuff. You know, they just trying to get a little bit of something. But baby, let me tell you, I be thinking about what I'm going to eat for dinner. 
when I mean breakfast, I don't make no sense. Well, that's probably why I be thinking about what I'm going to eat for dinner, because I don't eat breakfast. That's my problem. This thing is hinging on dinner. It be at the forefront of my mind, baby. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to... This is getting dressed pretty good. I don't hate it, you know. It's just getting on every piece. <laughs> I thought this spoon was going to be getting in my way, actually, but it's doing pretty good. It's doing pretty good. All right. So, we're going to come around here. These pieces are going to take, like I said, about 15 to 20 minutes to get done. And even after I get done with them, and these are not no big pieces, they, you know, they're just regular size pieces, but even after I get done with these, I will be going to uh, putting these on a foil pan and putting them in the oven. So let me put you guys on the fire. Okay. Both of them, we're gonna get them both crack a lacking. Okay. Great. I'm gonna be making some macaroni and cheese with this, and I'm gonna be making some green beans, some frozen green beans with this. So, nothing hard. The chicken is about the most difficult thing that I'll be doing today. It is not difficult, I just mean it takes a little bit of work, okay? So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna knock any excess flour off of our chicken. And we're gonna just drop it into the pot. And the reason why I use this pot because I love the way it fries. It's a heavy pot, and the heavier the pot is, you got a heavy bottom pot with fried chicken better, you guys. You got a uh, what's that? Cast iron. This is cast iron. It's just colored cast iron. It is heavy as heck, but it will fry the left out of some chicken, out of some fish. But I just love it. The reason why I'm using two uh, pots. It's because I have so many chicken, so much chicken, and I don't plan to be in here all day. Y'all know time has changed, and I ain't feeling that time change already. So I'm already exhausted because I went to bed super late last night, this morning. So because you look up and your day be gone. It's 2:30 now. Feel like I only been home for church 30 minutes. Ooh, they burnt me. That popped up on me, you guys. They got me good. Okay, we're dropping this at 239, okay? I'm not gonna have to be doing any churning and going on, so therefore, I'm gonna go around this other way to go this other side. I don't wanna chunk it in the other pot. <laughs> All right. I've never fried chicken in this pot, so fingers crossed. Uh, I've never tried fried chicken in this pot. So I'm hoping that I'll get a desired fry that I like. Okay. What I do want, I want them to be frying at the same time. I've got them both making sure that they're both at the same temperature. So I can be good. And then it'll drop some more. Like I said, you got some of the excess off. This is a thing. Oh, this wing was. I don't like to turn that little part anyway. Okay. Okay. Let's get the only can get about four or five pieces in here in this pot. You don't want to crowd it. I probably can get more pieces in the red pot than I can in the green pot. But you don't want to overcrowd it because you want to allow the space for them to do their thing, okay? So I'm going to stop right here on the balloon. Okay? Now I'm going to see what kind of space I have in the pot. This one can take a couple of more pieces. It's not full at all. Bigger than that one, so I'm gonna put a, this other wing in here, and then I'm gonna stop and let these cook. Get those chips down up in there. Okay. I'm gonna let both of these cook up, and then I'm gonna come back and show you what they look like. 
Okay, you guys, so I'm back and I want to show you guys something. Now, these wings over here are done. It took up about 11 minutes for these wings to get done. Zoom in on these for a little bit. They are beautiful. So I'm thinking 25 minutes is a lot and I had to look at some stuff. And I guess that's for bigger pieces and fresh and things of that nature because these wings are they're getting done between 10 and 12 minutes. Now you see how pretty that is? Look how beautiful that is. Let me turn on my other light so y'all can see. See the beauty that there is. See the fullness there is. Okay. Some pretty chicken, honey. That's what she wants, some pretty chicken. Okay. That pan pot over there, I told y'all I had never cooked uh, fried chicken in that pot. And it does fry a little bit darker. Okay? It fries a little bit darker. Let's see. Y'all see that? See that beautiful piece of chicken? I'm going to put it on this wire and let some of that, that grease drop down, okay? I'm going to do that in batches, okay? So let me show you the difference. Now look at this piece over here. It's going to be darker. So I don't know if I'm going to stick with it. It looks good still, though, you know. It ain't no bad. It's still a beautiful piece of chicken, so I'll probably just hang on in there with both of them. Yeah, they stay pretty good side by side. I'm going to put them all on this tray and let you guys see them. Uh, when I take them out. Yeah, so this was about 12 minutes, you guys, uh, for the wings. I have a one thigh, I think, over there. So I'm definitely gonna have to check it out and make sure it's done. But these wings are, are beautiful. But I'm just trying to make sure that they're done. Because I don't want no bad chicken now. I don't want no bad chicken. I gotta make sure this chicken is ready, y'all. But that's what you do, you guys. You just keep on doing your batches. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep on doing them, and I'll let you know exactly how long it took for me to get this chicken cooked all the way through. But right now, it looks so pretty and beautiful. Okay? I'll be back soon. So, hey, you guys. I'm back to show you guys something. All of this chicken is cooked at different times. Not, well, I won't say all of them is cooked at different times. What I mean is, the, this is, the, this is the, the wing, right? Okay? See the wing. And it's very easy to come apart. It's not t uh, tough. When you go to get wings from the, your chicken place and you have to fight it to come loose, it needs to be cooked a little bit more. That's all that means. But this, the wings, we're getting done at about uh, 15 to 17 minutes. The wing would be deliciously good, uh, cooked all the way through, no problem. The drumstick was right behind the wing at about 20 minutes, you know, and that's where you got that, got it good and, and, and done. Tender, pulling apart. And then the thigh was taking about 20 to 22 minutes before it was done. So what I started doing on my badges is putting my, I'm sorry, I'm crunching because it's so good, putting my uh, thighs in one pot and putting those wings and uh, drumsticks together, okay? So I just wanted to show you guys that. Delicious, tender chicken. Why is it tender? Because I marinated it at least for four hours. That's gonna break that chicken down. That buttermilk breaks it down and gives it this crystal white color. And um, flavorful, flavorful because why? I flavored and seasoned the buttermilk uh, marinade, and I seasoned, <laughs> excuse me, <coughs> mm. this chicken gonna kill me, 
and I season the um, the flour dredge okay so all of those flavors are definitely coming through this crust is amazing it's just um, just crispy crunchy flaky crust and that's what you want if you take your time to do some fried chicken you want it to be bomb okay so I just want to show you guys that be back with the last results in just a little bit so hey what's up you guys guess what I am finally done with all of my chicken I really feel like I have been on a ship at the Kentucky Fried Chicken or somebody and I just did a whole order for a family reunion of crunchy style baby I've been frying some chicken do you hear me but look at this golden beautiful chicken y'all if I tell you this is some beautiful chicken if I tell you it tastes like it looks it's crunchy it's crispy it is beautiful chicken honey bunches of oats now let me tell you buttermilk brine fried chicken takes a little bit of time and a little bit of here and there but baby it's the best it's the best anytime you brine some chicken or you put it in a marinade and let it soak in some milk and some and some uh, egg white wash or something like that that chicken just tastes very very good so I'm gonna put the directions um, in my description box and I hope you guys will try this crispy delicious chicken I mean look at it y'all look at it mmm look at it so delicious so beautiful and gonna be so good I'm gonna be pairing it with some macaroni and cheese and some green beans and some biscuits and it is just gonna be delicious you guys so that's all I have for you today uh, thank you guys for tuning in and joining me sticking with me I really appreciate you letting me be a part of your day and uh, go ahead on and give me a thumbs up for this video that helps me out a lot. If you have any comments or anything or questions, make sure you come comment in the uh, comment section. I always try to reply, give thumbs up and hearts when you guys tell me you like my recipes. So um, make sure you're talking to me and, and uh, letting me know you're here. I really appreciate you guys. I love you guys. All my foodie friends. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. Buttermilk fried, fried chicken. We're gonna see you on the next one when we see what Reed is cooking. See what Reed is cooking. Ow! Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. Love you guys, foodie friends. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye bye.